Okay, we're back at it on chapter 7. We're doing reaction problems, but this time instead of just moles, and then the mole-to-mole -mole ratio, we're using mass, and then dealing with the mole-to-mole -mole ratio. This is on pages 119 and 120, exercise 7H. And guess what? We have stuff to remember, right? Because well, we always have stuff to remember. What do we have to remember? Well, it's exactly the same method as the mole reaction problems. We just have to get to moles. So how do you get to moles from mass? Eh, that's easy, right? We've done this before. Back in chapter 5, we used the molar mass, grams per mole, of the periodic table to convert from grams to moles because we then can compare the mole-to-mole -mole ratio. Remember, the balanced equation is not grams to grams ratio. It's a mole-to-mole -mole ratio. So. Here are our set of three problems. Go ahead and copy those down, hit pause, work your way through, and then come on back, we'll take a look. Hit pause. Okay, you've deposified, you've come back after doing the work. Hopefully you tried these, don't just let me do the problem for you. You battle, you see if you can do it. We've already covered this in class, or you could see it in your uh, textbook. So let's give it a go. First step, balance the equation. Always, 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 always balance that sucker first. Okay, clearly this is the biggest, most complicated molecule. There's one of these, there's one of those, and there's five of those. Great, so it's a one to five to one ratio. This problem has one number in it. So you want to write down the number, the unit, and the label. Now this is a one mole to five mole to one mole ratio. So we have to convert the grams to moles in order to compare the oxygen with the other reactant. So how do we get from grams to moles of oxygen gas? Well, you should remember that by now. Of the periodic table, right? Periodic table step. Each oxygen is 16.00. There's two of them, so that's 32. That grams cancel of the O2 we get to moles. Once we're at moles of O2 from this many grams, we can now do that mole to mole ratio off the balanced equation. There's one mole of P4 for every five moles of O2. If you don't write in the O2, you'd be tempted to have the 5 on top and the 1 on the bottom. You'd never do that if you write those in because the only way you can cancel those O2s out is this way. Okay, any other steps here? Well, what are they asking us to figure out? The moles of P4. What are our units right now? All of our units cancel out except moles of P4. Oh man, I'm stopping. I'm done. That's all they're asking. How many sig figs are in my answer? 19.3 is three sig figs. 32.00 per every one is four sig figs. And this is infinite, so the answer should be three. So now it's just a case of punching it in your calculator, seeing what you get. 19.3 divided by 32 divided by 5 is equal to to 3 sig figs I get 0 0.121 moles of P4 not too bad right grams convert to moles and then this is the mole to mole ratio we're always going to get to that mole to mole ratio eventually so you got to do whatever you have to do to get to moles. For these problems, we're starting with grams again. 12.0 grams, P4O10 this time. Well, the only way you compare that stuff to that stuff is through the mole-to-mole -mole ratio. So you have to convert this to moles first. Grams of P4O10 for 
every one mole P4 O10 so what is that molar mass of P4 O10 um, I'll do that down here phosphorus is four times let's do a quick look phosphorus element number 15 30.97 grams per mole oxygen there's 10 of them there's oxygen 16.00 grams per mole what's that add up to let's punch it in I get 283.88 grams per one mole. There's all the work I did right down there at the bottom. It's hiding it from you. Okay, so 283.88 grams are found in every one mole of P4O10. That allows me to cancel out the grams. Once I'm at moles, now I can look at that mole-to-mole -mole ratio between what I start with, 12 grams of P4O10, and what they want to know, O2. So what's that ratio? What goes on top, what goes on the bottom? Moles of O2 has to go on top in order to get the P4O10 moles to cancel out. It's all about canceling out something from before. Now we're at moles of O2, but we don't stop because they want to know how many grams of O2. How do you get from moles to grams? Same way, 32.00 grams of O2 per every one mole of O2. So this is a periodic table step. This is the mole to mole ratio step. This is a periodic table step. Molar mass. Moles of O2 cancel out. I'm left with grams of O2, which is what I want. How many grams of O2? There they are. Three sig figs. Five sig figs. Infinite sig figs. And four leaves me with three sig figs in my answer. So, let's check it out. 12 divided by 283.88 times 5 times 32. 6.76 grams. Good. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, one last problem to deal with here. What mass of P4O10 can be produced when 6 grams of O2 reacts with excess P4? You know, when you think about this, this is really a limiting reagent problem, isn't it? It's a limiting reagent problem where we know which is the limiting reagent because they told us which is the excess reagent. O2 is going to be our limiter. Okay. Well, we start with the O2 grams. We're going to convert to moles again. Same as we did up here. periodic table step. Molar mass. Get to moles of O2. They want to know the mass of P4O10. Well, we have to compare the moles first. What's that ratio? It's five moles of O2 per every one mole of P4O10. The five comes from the balanced equation and the one comes from the balanced equation moles cancel. Once we're at moles of P4O10, they don't want the moles, they want the mass. The units can't be mass. We're going to have units of grams. Mole to mole ratio. Back out periodic table. We already calculated this. Right here. 283.88 grams P4O10 per every one mole. 
P4010. The moles cancel out. I'm left with grams. P4010. How many sig figs are in my answer? Hmm. This has five. This has an infinite number. This has four. And this has one. So our answer only has one sig fig. So what is 6 divided by 32 divided by 5 times 283.88? My calculator gives me 10.6455. So I'm going to make that 1 times 10 to the plus one, because it's a big number. One times 10 to the one grams, P4010. That's your final answer there. That's all you need. That's how we do these same reaction problems as before. Notice that in every single one, the middle of it is that mole to mole ratio, the balanced equation. That's the basis of everything. Exercise 7H is a great one to practice on. Good luck.